can't this class be over? We can take a little breather. Math was so hard I was really tired. I have a physics problem I can't solve. By the way, have you seen our new girl? Yeah, I even talked to her a little bit. She's interesting. We sit in biology together, but I haven't talked to her. Did you really fall in love with her? I can't believe Mikey fell in love. That sounds interesting. Yeah, well, I liked her. Then talk to her by all means. It's time to go to learn. Just don't let me down. What's wrong? Just don't panic. We gotta get out of here. What's that sound behind the wall? Oh no! We've gotta get out of here! It seems we didn't make it! We're not giving up! Stay away from us! Get away from us! Capture their brains! Hack them! They will serve us! JJ, I don't seem to be in control of myself. Don't come any closer! What, what, what's going on? Amphal, get out of here! We've got them now! Catch them all! Ra, ra, run! Capture everyone! No one can be left out! Guys, it's me! You don't have to do anything to me! Hurry up and get her! She's getting away! We can't have her hiding somewhere! I'll catch them all, and the boss will promote me! I think she ran that way! Hurry up and get her! There she is! Come on, after her! Let's go! Barely escaped. Seems like a good place to hide. Well, well, well. I saw you run in here. We're not gonna hurt you. Come on out! Aha! There you are! I got you! Please don't do this! Where are you? Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. We just want to help you. Come out quickly. I know you're here. You can't hide for long. Come with me and nothing will happen to you. Looks like we need to look elsewhere. Ooh, I think he's gone. Today is just the first day of a new school. What am I in for? What's that sound? There you are. Gotcha. Oh no. You can't catch me that easily. Take that. We have to go to the vice principal's office. I think that's her door. Yes, I came the right way. Hello? Have you seen what's going on at school? Hello, Amphow. What happened out there? I heard some noise, but I thought it was kids making noise. Our school has been taken over by Skibidi Toilets. They are taking over our minds. That's horrible. You didn't get hurt? I don't, but the rest of you do. Do you know how we can get out? We need to get to the principal's office immediately. He'll know exactly what to do. I think I found two more. Can't let them get away. Wow, it's JJ. Come quickly follow us. We know where to hide. I'm gonna kick in the door. There you go. It was a bad move to bring us in. You're under their control, too? I'll get the others to pick them up. Don't worry. You won't be in any pain. Don't touch us. We just want to get out of here. Good job. We'll take care of them. You can go back to work. We did well, M1K3. All that's left is to find that girl. We've already caught all the students. Don't get distracted. We still have unfinished business. It's time for us to finish what we started. Keep up. We're being called. I'm here. Who needs anything? Did you get the girl yet? We're on our way to find her now. There were voices in that hallway. Check it out. She must be hiding in there. Let's go look around. Look, I think they're grooming new recruits for our ranks. While we're working, they're chilling. No conscience. I think he was talking about this hallway. We have to hurry. Yeah, let's go check it out. Hopefully they haven't gone anywhere yet. Hey, is it me? Or is that her standing a few meters away from us? Oh no, they found us. We need to hide as fast as we can. Get them! We can't let them get away! Surround them! I'll nail them on this side. Come on, we're almost there. Wait, we need to talk to you. Don't stop. Open the door. Help us. We're being chased. Why can't we open this door? Who opened it for them in the first place? We need to figure out how to open it. Let's try to work together. See if we can do something. We're on it. Open the door. Don't make us break it down. Dear friends, you can tell us how to open this door by prompting us in the comments. I can't get this door open. Help us. We are in danger. Don't panic. You're safe now. What happened? Our school has been taken over by Skibidi Toilets. They robbed. have taken all the students captive and are making them do all the dirty work. Is there anything you can do? We really need help? I have a plan. I have a panic button in my basement. Then let's hurry up and get over there. The thing is, I forgot where the sunroof button is. Where could she be? Ramp. Let's look. It is somewhere within the, the confines door. of this table. I have not removed it far away. I don't see anything like that. I think I see something. Is that her by any chance? That's fine. Yes, that's her. Hurry down to the basement. Keep up. They may get here soon. We did it! Get them! They can't get away! What? There's no one here? Where could they have gone? They didn't just disappear. 
Also true. I think I found how they escaped. Try opening it. It won't budge. Apparently, it opens with a button. There's something underneath. Let's try the other side. You could try going through the basement. I'm tired of chasing after this girl. There's not much left. They're at a standstill. Let's get this over with. We've been chasing this girl for half a day now, but it'll all be over soon. We're safe for a while. They'll find us soon enough. How do we proceed? We can't just give up on them. We have to call the police somehow. We need to turn their own stubbornness against them. How do you propose to do this? Their target is you, Amphal. So if I stand around the corner, they won't see me. Are you suggesting we use me as bait? I'll be there for you. Don't worry. Oh, all right. I hope you know what you're doing and that it works out for you. I think they're coming. What's next? I'm going to use the panic button to call the police. What do I have to do? Get over there and distract them for a while. All right. Good luck. Well, we found them. Break down the door. We're not going to let them get away. We finally got you. Why did you make things so worse? What's going to happen to me? We'll take you to the main skibidi toilet. So that's right, do it, release them. What's she talking about? J4Q5 in the back. What? Where am I? Mikey, what's wrong with you? Let him go. Get him, don't let him go. Well, he's gone, so he's bringing more Skibidi toilets with him soon. JJ, I'm so glad you're being you. I don't even remember what happened to me. We don't have much time. We gotta get out of here. Get your friend up. Hurry up, JJ. Okay, Mikey, get up. We gotta get out of here. I think I hear them. We gotta go. Now we're going to have a very tough fight. I hope help is on the way. They're in the front. Let's fight them. There are so many. We can do it. I'm glad we'll be fighting together. We'll have each other's backs and we'll get through this. Hey, they're coming. Now you're gonna answer for everything you've done. I'm counting on your help. Don't let me down. Is that the best you can do? There's not much left. We're good. Get him. He's on his own. Don't miss it. We don't need any more problems. We did it. But it's not over yet. There are still some skibidi toilets left. We have to figure out how to beat them. That's a lot of military. Help has arrived. You're finally here. We were able to fight off some of them, but there's still a lot of them. Take us to them. We'll deal with them. Follow us. We'll take you to them. Deal with them. Follow us. We'll take you. Let's show them who we are so they won't want to come back. Good job, partner. Well, it's been a very hard day. Yeah, we've been through a lot. I was really scared. We have now been rescued and taken out of the school. Next, it's up to the professionals to figure it out. I agree with you, Mikey. Look how strong that robot is. I don't think this group of Skibidi toilets can do anything to him. You are tremendous well done. You did very well today. You're doing great, too. The next day. Mikey and I decided to take a little walk. What are we going to do? I don't know. Do you have any ideas? We can go to the park. What are we going to do there? I hear there's a festival going on there today. Sounds great. Hopefully there will be some interesting challenges. I'd love to participate in something too. I think we're getting closer to this festival. Mikey, look, what's that? I don't know, JJ, maybe it's a prank? Survive the block and win a million. Sounds interesting. I think it's pretty dangerous. Come on, let's do it. You wanted to take part in the challenge. All right, let's give it a shot. I think it'll be easy. I think so too, because we are a team. And you and I are very good at different tasks. Okay, then I'm pushing the button. Yeah, come on. What? Where am I? It's so empty. I'm really only on one block. Mikey probably hasn't moved here yet. Where is he? Holy turtles, where am I? Mikey, we found ourselves on a trial. I didn't think it would be on the same block. But it is, and there's nothing underneath us. It's dangerous, we need to be careful. Yes, and this is no time to be discouraged. I also think we need to figure out how to survive here. We can definitely handle it. Write in the comments what you would do in such a case. Cash, today is a good day to come up with something interesting. I heard there's a festival in the park tonight. Why don't we go there? Sure, we'll go. Maybe we'll meet someone. We should be close by now. I can see it already. Nico, look, what is that? This must be some kind of test. There's a million diamonds to be won here if we pass it. Do you want in? Of course, besides, I don't see anyone else interested. What if it's dangerous? Cash, where are you? Where did he go? All right, let's go. What if there's no way back? Where am I? It's so empty. Where are we, Nico? Apparently, we got caught up in this ordeal. Then we need to do our best to win here. I, I think there's someone here. Who are they? What are they doing here? I don't know, but they seem to be getting somewhere. We should call them. You and I are not bad at this, JJ. That's for sure. We were even able to get food. Hey, guys, we're here. Who are they? It sounds like the sound is coming from over there. You're in too? Let's survive together, shall we? We'll help you. They'll 
take our winnings. You don't think it's worth it to help them? That's right! We're doing just fine on our own. We don't need any help. Yes, it would be better if we united. Don't you see it's better this way? We don't need any extra bitters for our winnings. Yes, we'll be fine on our own. Get out of here. Together, we have a better chance of winning. And we'll split the winnings evenly. Mikey, their idea sounds pretty logical. And what are you suggesting? Let's join forces for a sure victory. Well, okay. I'll just keep an eye on you. We won't let you down, I promise. In any case, we were planning to expand. And here's the occasion. Together, we'll get through this very quickly. And pretty soon, we'll be going home with diamonds. So I'm almost done. Just walk carefully. Yes, it's very easy to fall here. My name's Cash, and this is my friend Nico. And I'm JJ, and this is Mikey. How long have you been here? For a few hours or so. The food will be ready soon. That's cool. Nothing. We'll all be out of here soon with the diamonds. What are we going to do now? We can expand the lot and build a home. Then we'll start construction. Three hours later. What a wonderful day for a walk. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. It's just beautiful. I'm going towards Central Park. I would like to find something interesting to entertain myself with. Oh, I'm going to go over here and see if there's anything. There doesn't seem to be anything here either. What's this? Survive the block and win a million diamonds? I like the sound of that. I want in on this. Win a million diamonds. That's just unbelievable. Okay, it's done. I'm in. So to participate, click right here. And what happens? I get a block? We'll have to try to press it. I hope it's a lot of fun. Hello again. We've been working on developing our island for hours now. Hey, JJ, I'm almost finished with our house. You did good, Mikey. Keep it up and we'll win for sure. There will be iron soon. I'm glad to hear that. I think the house will be ready by now. I'll try to finish it. Guys, let's have a general meeting. Discuss the way forward. Yeah, what exactly is the question? What's with the tree, Mikey? We need some of it to complete the house. Then I'll do the planting and the firewood. Great, then I'll think of something to eat. The prize is almost in our pocket, folks. Uh, you need to take a look at this. What is it again? You'll see for yourself. Who the hell is that? Who are you? I'm a new participant in this challenge. We need to get rid of her. We don't need competition. Let's just push her off the island. What are you going to do? Don't touch me. We don't need anyone else. You shouldn't have come here. Don't do anything to me. This will be our prize. Let's break it down. Sorry, but there's no way you're getting on the list. It's already filled. Have a good flight from our island. Why are you running away? You don't have to. We'll make a deal. Nice flying. I think she's done. She won't get in our way. I'm glad she's done. Where did she even come from? Maybe she pushed the button like we did. That's right. The important thing is that she's gone. Great. Then we'll get back to work. I support this idea. You go on mining iron then. And we're going to go finish building the house. We need to win the prize as soon as possible. And we will do everything we can to make it happen. Let's finish the house then. Then I'll go and prepare the boards. I need some laths as well as some boards to make a roof. No problem. I'll get it to you right away. Don't be long. We have to hurry. Mikey, give me a couple minutes. I'll be right there. Oh my god. It, it took me a long time to fall down. How did I end up here? Holy mother spaghetti. What is that? What's all the noise in here? She's back here again. Just don't do anything to me this time, please. I'm not promising you anything. I don't understand it at all, but we need to get rid of him. I support Mikey. Me too. I think I know what we need to do. I think I know what you mean. No, please, let's do it together. Well, you're just in time for dinner. What are you doing? Will you let me go? She's such a chatterbox. You don't have an apple? And we were wondering what to have for dinner. And he came to us. Dinner will be ready soon, guys. Two birds with one stone. Let me go. I, too, am part of this ordeal. No, no, we want you out of our way. This island is too small for one more contestant. It seems like it will be ready soon. And the whole prize goes to just us. It feels like it's getting closer and closer. At least it hasn't bothered us yet. That's it. One less contestant. I think we did it. Yay. Now we can go about our business. We'll be able to complete everything we've planned. Why don't we grab a bite to eat then? Sounds like a good idea. Let's wait a little longer. What are we waiting for? How is that possible? But hello, boys. Looks like you're not getting rid of me so easily, is it? I don't understand why you're still here. The only thing left is that we have to beat her. I play here too, so you can't exclude me? What do we do now? You're going to have to suck it up and compete with me at full strength. You're just a girl, and we can beat you easily. Oh, I'd love to compete with you. But don't forget, you're alone, and there are four of us. What do you propose to do? 
I would just give up if I were you and not even try to win. There's no way we're giving up. Well, then you can keep having fun and I'm off to win. Hey guys, let's think like this. How do we win this contest? Let's start by protecting our tree. It's okay, let him take it. We can do it on our own. I've got a couple ideas. Yeah, come on, come on. I already dream of surpassing it and building the most epic house in the world. I believe that you need to pay attention to more than just the house itself. She seems determined. Don't give up. Nico, you're behind the iron. We're going to make a house. We have to go around it. Okay, I'm going to keep doing chores around the house. All right. Then I'll help him. All right, you help him. If you need anything, call us. We're here for you. I'll just do what you told me to do in mine iron. Good. You're a good help. We need to show her who she's messing with and take the win from her. So, uh, how are we doing? Are we ready to win? I'm not sure we're gonna make it anymore. I think we're gonna lose, too. What are you doing? What's with that attitude? It started after that girl walked in here. I thought you didn't care about her. That's true, but look at what's in there. When did she have time to do it? Apparently while we were minding our own business. That's no reason for us to give up. You think we'll have time to get ahead of her? Even if it takes us a day longer, we have to try. Why don't we just break the house down? Don't you remember what happened when we tried to get rid of her? We'll get through this. Are you serious right now? Look at our house. It's just another sketch. We'll finish it. Like we don't need a million diamonds anymore. And I do. I'm not going to lose. Then what are we going to do? Let's go and ask her how she did it. That's a great idea. She obviously must have some kind of secret. Look how big it is. And all pink and pretty. She couldn't have built it herself. Hey, boys. Tell me, how did you build this house? I built it myself. Why are you lying to me? It's just that I'm a professional in this business. I offered to team up with you, but you turned me down. Looks like she beat us to it. I guess so. Dear participants, I am pleased to inform you that our competition has come to an end, and the winner is a beautiful girl named Afmao. Wow. I didn't expect to pull out this win so quickly and easily. I'm so glad. What? Where am I? This is our village. We must have been sent back. I can't believe she won. Where are the others? Oh, that wasn't very nice. It was funny. I've never won so easily before. We're bound to get lucky someday. How much did you win? They said you'll see for yourself. Holy turtles, how many diamonds are in here? Enough to spell trouble-free living. Don't you want to share some of it with us? How can I tell you? This award is too tight for all of you. But that's not fair. I don't know anything. Bye, losers. She just swarmed us all like children. All in all, it was pretty interesting. It's just a shame we couldn't win. We'll be lucky next time for sure. Let's hope so. We're going home. Okay, good luck with that. Bye, guys. See you later. See you later. JJ, I'm sad we couldn't win. It's sad, but it's a lesson for us to be more welcoming. Do you think things would be different if we joined together? At least we'd have Diamond. Huh, well, that's fine. We'll get them on our own somehow. That's right. What do we do now? Why don't we go home? I'm very tired from this trip. Yes, you're right. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. My friend Mikey and I went outside for some fresh air. Hey, hey, it was my idea to take a walk. It's beautiful here. Yes, it's true. I didn't want to go anywhere Mikey made me. He doesn't want to stay home, he says. Don't whine. We'll walk a little longer and then we'll go home. I'm not whining, Mikey. I just didn't want to go anywhere. Look how beautiful it is. Back home, it's all the same. Please help me. Oh, no. JJ, look. Who's that? Help me with something, preferably food. I haven't eaten anything for a long time. Oh, my God. Mikey, look at this little girl. I feel sorry for her. JJ, give her one diamond. I'll share an apple with her. Make her happy just a little bit. Here you go, girl. Eat up and get yourself something else. Is it really for me? Thank you so much. You're very kind. You're welcome. Come on, Mikey. We gotta go. Buy yourself something useful. Don't just waste money. Okay, I'll buy myself lots of food. Bye, girl. Come on, JJ. We gotta go. Let's go. Bye. She's a nice girl. I feel bad for her. Wait a minute. You forgot me. What? Did she follow us? I mean, did we forget you? Mom, Dad, I'm all alone out here. Where did you go without me? Wow. What? What are you talking about? We're just helping you. We're not your mom and dad. JJ, let's get out of here as soon as possible. Where are we going? Walk or go to the store? Come on, Mikey. Let her stay here. Don't follow us. We don't even know you. Jesus. Okay, the walk was a really good idea, Mikey. I told you, JJ. All we do all the time is sit at home and play. By the way, why don't we play something? After the walk, we can also play longer. You just have to choose what to play. We have a lot of options. We need to go and think about it. Then let's not waste any time, JJ. 
Let's go to our game room and see what we can do. We'll decide there. All right, Mikey. Let's do it. It's all about coming to a consensus. Don't worry. It won't be hard. I think so, too. Look, we can play slot machines. Why don't we play computer? There's a lot more games. We can play anything. No, Mikey. We played yesterday. I don't want to play today. Then let's go play the console. We haven't turned it on in a while. Hmm. That's a great idea. Let's play console tonight. Who would have come to us? I don't know. We're not expecting guests. What if it's that girl? Go and have a look. Maybe it's someone else. No, JJ. I don't want to go alone. Let's go together and see who it is. Really? Please, let's go together. It's not that hard for you. Okay, let's go take a look. But it's embarrassing that you're afraid to open the door thinking there's a little girl in there. Did you see the way she was hitting on me? I can't do it alone. Come on, open it already. Oh, no. Hi, Mom and Dad. Is this our new home? It's big enough. What? No, this is our house. That's what I said. Our house. Ours means mine and JJ's, but not yours. What a great place you guys have. What? It's so beautiful here. Get out of here now. That's a nice house you got there, Mom and Dad. I like it here. It's better than the street. What? We're not your mom and dad. Why do you even think we're your parents? It's so great here. Everything is so big and beautiful. I love living here. Where's my room? This isn't your room. Stop running around and touching everything. How is my room gone? You need to do something, parents. I'm so sick of her. I have to get her out of here. Way to go, Mikey. Okay, girl. Listen to this. This ain't your house. What? You can't just run in here without being asked and do whatever you want. You can't do that. That's right. Now, let's pick her up and take her away from here, JJ. Yeah. Maybe then she'll realize we're not her parents. I think it's a good idea, too. Enough playing around. It's time to show her that we are not kind boys to be treated like this. And after that, we'll be able to play the console in peace. Let's get her out the door. Don't come in here again. We're not your parents. Forget about this house. Forget about this house? Yes, you heard it right. Don't come in here again. Come on, Mikey, it's time to play. Bye, I hope I don't see you again. Go find your real parents. Whew, that was a tough one. I hope she doesn't bother us again. I think after this we can safely go play consoles. We may have offended her a little bit. There's no other way to get rid of her. She's like a leech. No, 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 no. Are you going to play the computer? I want to come with you. What is it, Mikey? How'd she get in here? I don't understand anything at all, JJ. I just carried her out the door myself. What's wrong with her? She's a little out of control. Maybe she's a demon? Moments later. It's time to get serious about this. I think so, too. After the second time she was in our house, Mikey and I decided to take her away from the house. You won't see us again. At least I hope so. I'm sure she'll never see us again. Here comes our long-awaited surprise. The cab driver's on his way. It's going to end now. We'll send her far away from us, so she'll never again be at the door unknowingly. Hello, did you call for a cab? Hello, yes, we called it in. You're gonna need to take this girl somewhere far away. Doesn't matter where. Why? And how does it not matter where? All right, uh-huh. Get in, let's go. I know where we're going. Just sit down. Don't come here again. The road is closed to you. Are you gonna pay? Here you go. That's more than you need. Thank you. Goodbye. Just get her far away. That's it, JJ. They're leaving now. Our plan worked perfectly. Now she won't find us. I really hope I don't see you again. Now it's safe to go to bed. And no one will be running around the house and touching everything. I'm insanely excited about it. Now we can sit back and do our business in peace. Only we won't have time to play anymore. It's nighttime. Time to go to bed. All right, we'll play tomorrow. The main thing is that no one's home. It's much better than playing in front of a strange girl. I couldn't agree with you more, JJ. Okay, it's time for us to go to bed. See you tomorrow, JJ. We'll go for a walk when we wake up. Good night, Mikey. See ya. That's it. Now I can lay on my bed and rest without nerves? Guys, do you think we're being tough on this girl? Or is that the way to treat her? Write in the comments your opinion. We are very interested to know. I guess that's it now. We can go to bed. Where do I sleep, Daddy? You never showed me my room. Oh my God, no. This can't be happening. Mikey, she's here again. She came into our house again somehow. Why are you yelling so loud? He'll wake up. This can't be real. JJ, what are you yelling about? What's wrong? Can't you see that? Oh, no. She was in my room again in some unknown way. It can't be. I mean, we put her in a cab far away from here. As you can see, she's back here again. What are we supposed to do with her now, JJ? Please don't kick me out. It's already dark outside. I'm afraid of the dark. Okay. All right. I got it. We won't kick you out. It really is nighttime outside. You can stay here and sleep. 
We'll figure something out with you tomorrow, JJ. Okay, I agree with you. Let her stay. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. Where do I sleep? Let's go. We'll take you to your room. Let her stay with us for one night, and tomorrow we'll come up with a plan after which she won't even be able to be in the city. This is my personal room. This is Mikey and I's old nursery. But tonight you're gonna sleep here. It's been a long time since I've been here. Nostalgia came over me. All these toys. We used to play with all these things. Now you can use it all. Thank you so much, parents. You're very kind. You're welcome. Use whatever you want. We're going to bed. Just don't break anything, especially the TV. It's expensive. Bye. So, Mikey, what's your plan for tomorrow? How are we gonna get rid of her? To be honest, I don't quite know how exactly yet. I do have a plan, though. But it's super expensive. And it's also super reliable. Then you'll tell it to me tomorrow. I'll be sure to tell you. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Mikey. Now I'm sure no one will stop me from going to bed. I'm so tired of that girl. I hope it all works out tomorrow. The next day. Here comes the long-awaited day. The day of the grand plan. We'll take her to the island on this yacht. She'll never get off. The boat looks gorgeous, Mikey. Everything's going according to plan. Check it out. The girl's already jumping all over that boat. Mom and Dad, come here to me. My God, when did she get in there? Maybe it's not human? I don't know. But I want to get rid of her soon. She's starting to scare me. Don't worry. Now we'll take her back and our suffering will be over once and for all. That's great. Then let's hurry up and get going. Take her so far away she won't even know where she is. I really hope it all works out. I'll go crazy if she comes back after all this. Let's go tell her we're going on a trip. She will now be on the journey forever. Hey, girl, we're coming to you. Hi, are you ready for an exciting journey? We're all going together. Yes, I really do. That's great. Then come upstairs and we'll go on a trip around the world. I'm on my way. What a good mood I'm in. I can't wait to be free. And most importantly, get peace and tranquility. She has no idea what's in store for her. She's really thinking about traveling. Hee hee hee. Three hours later. Here we are, finally arriving at the island. There's no way she's getting out of here. So, JJ, you ready to do this? Are you ready to be a free man? Of course I'm ready. Mom, Dad, what's this island? This is your new home, girl. You're going to live here now. What? I'm going to live here alone? Of course you're alone, not with us. Did you really think we were your family? Just go to your new home. We should get going. Why did you do that? Goodbye. We'll never see each other again. Live here for the rest of your life. Have fun and do whatever you want. Stop! Don't do that! Let's go, Mikey! Before she ends up back on our boat. The plan went perfectly. We did it. Now we can sail back home. Finally! Hurry up, hurry up. Go, go, go! Mommy and Daddy left me here alone. What am I supposed to do now? How am I supposed to live here? Hey, girl, who are you? Am I just imagining it? Whose voice was that? Who called me? Who are you? I've lived here for a long time. How did you end up here? Who the hell are you? I came on a boat with my parents. They said it was a trip, but really they just left me here. Don't hurt me. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't worry, you have a new family now. It's us. Cool, I'm really excited. I missed having a real family. I'm glad to be one family with you on this island. Thank you. Two hours later. Finally, we got rid of the Amphow. This house is ours now. This has always been our home until this annoying little girl came here. We won't let anyone else in here anymore. Let them live on the street. We don't want any more guests. Yes, JJ. Oh my God, who are they? What are they doing here? What the horror is going on here? Now we live here. Ha ha ha. Get out of here. I didn't let them in here. And who put them in our house? I did it. They are my friends and they had nowhere to live. So I let them spend the night in our house. Really cool. Mom, Dad, you don't mind, do you? We are against it. Oh my God, Mikey, what should we do? Um, I don't know. I have no words. Now we have a dorm at home. It's time to burn down our house, JJ. Yeah. One day later. We have to go to school. Stop talking. Going back to this place again. I'd rather go for a walk somewhere. JJ, stop whining. Let's get to class or you'll be suspended for truancy again. You're lecturing me again? What are you going to say this time? Uh, 
I'm gonna tell you to subscribe to the channel. What do you mean? I just read it off the board. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. Guys, subscribe to the channel. This sign comes in handy. By the way, don't forget to like this video. It's also written on the sign. And don't forget to do it at all. Yeah, I don't know what that's doing here, but we should get to class now. I agree with you, JJ. Let's go sit in our seats already. By the way, have you seen our sister Amfau? Nope, I haven't seen her. Where could she be? She's probably in the classroom by now. Then we can make fun of her. Oh, I really like it. I don't like our sister at all. She's such a great student. She does all her homework. She's such a good girl. It makes me nervous. There she sits and she can't even hear us. Here's some snowballs for you. Nah, take that. Eat the snow. Hee hee hee, she's so stupid. Hey, why are you throwing things at me? You're distracting me from my studies. Ha ha ha, what a weirdo. It was frustrating. That's what we wanted. Keep throwing it at her, JJ. Come on, Mikey. Throw everything you got at her. What a loser she is. We're such pranksters. You two idiots who are interfering with my studies, I will call the teacher right now. Huh, no one wants you at all. Nobody's gonna help you. And Amfo stinks. Can you smell it? Air out the classroom. All right, kids. Quiet, everybody. Oh, is she for us? Attention. Tomorrow is a very important and difficult test. Please prepare for it. Whoever fails this test will be kicked out of school as too stupid. Looks like we have a problem. Anyway, you have to study for the test yourself. I'm too lazy to teach you. She won't be helping us yet. We're definitely gonna fail this test. Lesson's over. Let's go home, Mikey. We need to figure something out. What can we figure out? I mean, we haven't done any homework at all. It can't be so bad. I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we should ask our parents what we should do. You think they're so smart? They'll probably say it's our problem. Maybe they'll have some ideas. Who else can help us? I think maybe we should make cheat sheets. They'd at least give us a chance to get a decent grade on the test. No, Mikey. We've done this before. Yeah, the teacher scolded us so much in front of our parents. Hey, guys, wait for me. Let's go play dolls together. I promise it'll be fun. What kind of dolls? Such pink and cute little dolls. Oh, we're adults already. We're not going to play with some little kid like Ow. you. Go Ow. away. No Ow. one wants to play Ow. with you. Go and play with your dolls alone. What a stupid girl. I will avenge you for this. Boys don't play dolls. Boys play with cars. Let her remember it once and for all. We made fun of her pretty good. She's so naive and silly. But I don't even feel sorry for her for that. Yeah, me too. Let's go home now, JJ. We have to figure out what to do about the test tomorrow. Let's go. Oh my god, this is so delicious. Yeah, our mom can cook good food. Glad to hear it, kids. Our mom's food is the most delicious in the world. By the way, where's Ampho? She'll be home from school soon. Don't you two go home together? No, she's too dumb. Hey, everybody, I'm home. It smells so good in here. How did you get home later than us? I'm just a slow walker. She's also a slow thinker. By the way, we have a very important test at school tomorrow. Chances are we'll write it very poorly. We don't know what to do. Mom, Dad, maybe you have a solution. I would hire a repeater and prepare pair with him. Hire a tutor? And where would we find one? How about me? I have prepared well for the test and I can help you. That's a good idea. No, you can't do anything. You're a stupid little girl. You don't know anything and you can't do it. Hey, why do they always have to be so mean to me? Because you only have dolls on your mind. You're both rude. I took offense. Go to your room and cry into your pillow. Hey, Amphow, come back. It's so easy to chase her away. Kids, you can't do that. She's your sister. I forbid you to be so rude to her. You did a bad thing. Huh, we had a normal conversation. We have a lot of fun hanging out with her, or rather, mocking her. Maybe she's crying alone right now. Hurting little ones is bad. Ha <laughs> ha, so let her stay away from us. Yeah, it's her fault we're teasing her. Mikey's right. You don't have to be such a clingy and annoying girl. Never mind. I'm so sick of them bullying me. I should teach them a lesson. What if I did? I've got a brilliant idea. I want to make them pissed off to their max. They just didn't turn off their computer. This is the perfect opportunity to take advantage of their inattention. They'll be sorry for being so mean to me. They are just having trouble with the test tomorrow. I think I'll look for the worst ad selling fake test answers for them. Buy answers inexpensively, fast, guarantee 100%, cheap and fast again. I'll find the weirdest and most unreliable ad for them. They'll definitely fall for it. Okay, I think I found it, cool. Yum, 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 this is so good. Yeah, JJ, I can't get enough of this deliciousness. Yeah, kids, you're always so hungry after school. It's time for you to study for your test. Oh, by the way, we totally forgot about him. Yeah, we're full. It's time to start thinking about school. Let's go find us a tutor. But Mikey, where are we gonna find him? Uh, JJ, I have to teach you everything. You can find a tutor online. He'll tutor us quickly on Discord and we'll do well on the test tomorrow. Oh, really? Is that possible? Yes, you can. 
can. Everything's for sale on the internet these days. That's awesome, Mikey. Whoa, look, some kind of advertisement just popped up. But I didn't open anything. It just came up on its own. As you can see, yes. Buy answers for the school test for only 10 bucks? Whoa, just in time. JJ, don't you find that suspicious? I don't care at all, Mikey. This is our chance to write this test right. But I don't know if I even have that kind of money. We can split the purchase in half. I pay five bucks and you pay five bucks. You have that much money, don't you? Yeah, that's all the money I've saved lately. Only five bucks? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's a lot of money. I've always had money problems, but I'll give my share. I hope you have that kind of money. Five bucks. Well, uh, I should go through my drawer. Maybe I can scrounge up some of my coins. Well, well, well. I'm having money problems, too. Although I think I have an extra dollar somewhere. Yes, I have money. Five dollars exactly. We have the right amount. That's cool. Now we can buy ready-made exam answers. All that's left to do is make a phone call to arrange a purchase. It's so good. I don't even have to learn anything. We're so sneaky, Mikey. Only I'm afraid to talk to that guy on the phone. Why don't you make the call? Okay, Mikey. I'll call him myself since you're such a little chicken. It don't matter. Just make the call. Okay. Cluck, 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 cluck. That seems to be the number. There's still a little bit left. Hi, who's that calling? Hello. We're calling from an ad. Are you selling school test answers? Yeah, this is me selling. Would you like to buy it? Yes, we want to buy. It's very urgent. And meet at 1 odd a.m. at the park entrance. Come alone. No parents or police. It's perfect. We'll wait till my parents are asleep and make a quick run over there. Yes, Mikey, the plan is perfect. Just don't yell like that again. Otherwise, Amphow or the parents will hear us. Okay, Mikey. Okay, I think everyone's asleep. We need to move as quickly as possible. The lights in parents' bedroom and Amfo's room are already off. Everyone's asleep. We've got the whole night to ourselves, but let's not waste too much time. Let's go. Come on, Mikey. We already have the money we need. You know, Mikey, we're like criminals. In the middle of the night, we're buying some illegal product. I don't think we're gonna get arrested for that. So the entrance to the park is kind of right here. I don't know. I've never been here. This place is kind of weird. Yes, I agree. At least there's no extra witnesses to our deal. Afraid our teacher will see you? No, JJ. I'm afraid of this place. It's creepy. Yes, but this is the place the salesman named. Well, where does he go? How long do we have to wait for him? He should be here any minute. Okay, that's good. Give me all your money. I'll give it to him in one pile right away. Okay, that's even more convenient. You know, JJ, we could have gotten 10 burgers for that money. Yeah, my. That's a lot of money for us. I've never held such a huge amount of money in my hands. It's exactly 1 a.m. So right now, he's supposed to come out of nowhere. Right out of nowhere? Yeah, right from here. Hey, kids, did you bring money with you? Uh, wow, you are, how should I say? Are you black? Yes, I'm black. Any problems? No, it's okay. Then give your money here, now! Okay, okay, don't scream. Here's your money. Do you have the answers to the test? What? A test? Yes, we agreed with you. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot. Here are the answers to your school test. I no people at school. Just don't tell anyone about this deal. Okay, thank you. Bye, guys. Study hard next time. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> That's it, JJ. That wasn't so hard. Now we can write this test without any problems. Oh, we are so cool. We're also very smart. Now we'll never have to do our homework by ourselves again. It's easier to copy it or buy it from someone else. Yeah, we can buy that stuff more often from this black guy. That's a cool dude. Very cool. <laughs> This is it, the moment of truth. Today, we will write this test and get the best grades in the class. I hope that guy gave us the right answers. We gave him a lot of money. For that kind of money, the answers would be perfect. Then let's go and write that stupid test. Let's go, JJ. The teacher won't even suspect our idea. She's too dumb to even think about it. Whoa, JJ, look, there's a joke in there. What kind of joke? Like and subscribe? What does that mean? JJ, don't you remember? We saw the same sign yesterday. Go ahead, mess around in your empty head. Wow, isn't that a call to subscribe to our channel? Also like our videos. Let's go to class or we'll be late. Let's go, JJ. Friends, I hope you like every video we make. And you, Mikey, do you like our videos? Yeah, I put a like under every video. Nice work, Mikey. Let's go to class. If we don't write this test, we'll have to repeat a year at this school. And that's what they do to the dumbest students. And we're the smartest, but we don't want to show it. We are invisible geniuses. Yeah, it's going to be a big test. There are so many tasks. Hey, everybody. Pay attention to the test. Mikey, JJ, I wish you good luck. Thank you so much. We're going to need it. It's the only thing that will help you today. Does she think we're so dumb that we're incapable of writing the test ourselves? 
ourselves. She's right, JJ. We're not gonna write the test ourselves. Okay, let's get out our sheets and start filling in our answers. Just don't let the teacher see you. She doesn't care about anything. Then it's easier for us. I've already solved half the test. Two hours later. Congratulations to all of you for writing this difficult test. That's exactly what she says about us. Everyone wrote the test very well. I'm so proud of you. She's the one who's proud of us. You guys are really smart. Except you two, you don't have a single correct answer. You're the dumbest in the class. And you're also staying for your sophomore year. By the way, I'm calling your parents to the school. Two idiots. I hope you don't socialize with them unless you want to be dumbed down like that. How's that? Oh my god, this is so bad. That guy gave us the wrong answers. But how so? We gave him 10 whole dollars. That's a lot of money for us, but it was a scam. Parents are probably not going to be happy about this. Mikey, but what do we do now? Do we stay a sophomore year? It's such a shame. What else are we supposed to do? Just study and try to pass the test on our own. I don't think we're gonna find that weird guy in black. And if we do, we're not gonna do anything to him. He 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 he, I got the best grade ever. I'm so smart. What's up guys? How was your test? I don't see a smile on your faces. What are you talking about? She's suspiciously happy. Because it was me. I opened that website on your computer selling test answers. I got my revenge. She's getting back at us? We'll show her. What are you talking about? Prepare to be retaliated against, Amphal. You're gonna regret Ow. doing this Ow. to us? Ouch. We're your brothers. You shouldn't have set us up. That's enough. You're hurting me. And you hurt us with what you did. Stop right there. You think you're gonna run away from us? It's a harmless joke. Now we're going to show you a bigger joke. I will definitely win this time. You can dream, Mikey. Don't you dare relax, JJ. Ha, okay. Right now I'm playing with Mikey. Well... And by the way, Mikey is losing to me, huh? Who else is losing to who? Huh, what? I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, if that's the case, I'll teach you a little lesson. Hee hee hee. You've gotten more serious, JJ. Of course I've gotten serious. Ooh. You're playing relaxed, so I want you to get a little more serious. Hmm. Yay, victory is mine. Oh, JJ, I'll never beat you. Uh, you're too good at this game. Hmm. I'll never achieve the same skill. Mikey, you try harder every time, so you're skilled are growing. Hmm. Let's play one more round. All right, let's play some more. Yay! Maybe I'll win this time. Oh, no, no, no. I won't give you the victory so easily. Wow. You'll have to try harder. I'll win 100%. Oh, what a marvelous day today. Wow, there's a whole field of flowers. I'm going to pick them all up and make myself an iced tea. And then I'll pick sugar cane, and then the tea will be even more delicious. Yay, can't wait already. I'm so hungry and thirsty. Food and water. Yay, yay, yay. Ah, that hurts. <laughs> I hit my leg really hard. Oh, Mikey, I've only got a couple more punches to throw at you before I'm a total winner. Stop. Come on, push it. This is it. My victory. Yay. Hmm. Oh, Mikey, I'm sorry. Well, uh, I guess I'm not going to be a master at this game. Uh, but Mikey. No, but. Oh. I'm tired of losing, JJ. You need to try harder. Let's do something else, please. Hmm. Uh, like, uh, let's go for a walk in the park. Oh, yeah, I agree. Let's take a walk in the park. A walk in the woods is the perfect stress reliever. Yeah. Well, I won't be needing this anymore. Oh, look at the wonderful weather today. Oh, yeah, the weather is surprisingly beautiful today. I can already feel that fresh breeze in my relaxation. Oh, wow. What park are we going to? We're going to the nearest park. Cool. I'm in the mood for a walk, hmm. but I don't want to go too far. Yes, we still have things to do at home. We still have to eat, then sleep, then play, then eat again. Oh, my God. Oh, there's so much to do. Yeah, Mikey, whatever else you can do. Ah, uh, JJ, let's enjoy this moment without worry or annoyance. Uh, okay. In fact, I think all people should go for walks more often. Why do you think that? Oh, have you seen them? What are you talking about? They're covered in mold and grease and they're happy. It's horrible. Oh my god, Mikey, they're human beings. Let them live their lives as they please. Two hours later. Lava, lava, la, 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 la. I love you, la, 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 la. Is that your new song? Oh, the freshness of nature makes me sing. Oh, right. I get inspiration in my head in nature, too. Let's go for another little walk. Yeah, come on. Okay, let's go. We'll walk around and think about beautiful things like cars. <laughs> JJ, I thought I heard someone crying. Mikey, I heard something too. Hmm, okay, well, it must have just seemed like it. Yes, maybe. Let's keep walking. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey, right now I could clearly hear someone crying. Where's the sound coming from? Oh. <laughs> Mikey, let's go see what's going on. Okay, JJ, but if I get eaten, it's your fault. Hmm. Uh, okay, I don't think I'm gonna get eaten. Oh my god! Girl, are you okay? No. Mikey, we gotta help her out of this hole. I'd love to, but I don't understand why she can't get out of there on her own. She's so small. I hit my leg really hard. Oh, now that's a different conversation. Oh! I'll help you. Mikey, be careful with her in case her leg is broken. It's gonna be okay. Ow! Wow, she's so light, JJ. Really? She's really light as a feather. That's not normal. I'm just hungry. Uh, uh, wait. How long ago did you eat? The last time I ate yesterday, it was apples in the woods. My God, Mikey, try putting her on the ground. Don't you have any more pain? No, just my tummy hurts. Oh, uh, 
Uh, what's your name? My name is Afmal. I'm very hungry and thirsty. Uh, Do you have any food for me? Nice to meet you. Yay. Uh, yeah, we can feed you, but where's your family? I don't have a family. Oh. I was picking flowers and I fell in there. Wow. And if it wasn't for you, I'd be in that hole forever. Wow, that is so sad. Uh, I made a pee pee. JJ's gonna change your diaper. Wait, I don't wanna do this. It's settled. We'll take you home with us. Uh, yeah, don't worry. You'll be living with us. Yay, a new family. Yay. I hope to make friends with you. What do I call you guys? My name is Mikey, and that guy with the angry red sweatshirt is named JJ. Nice. Hey, my sweatshirt is not angry. Hee hee hee. I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, let's all go home together. Okay, let's go. Come with us. JJ, if she hasn't eaten in so long, she must be tired. Hey, Afmal, can you walk by yourself? If you're really tired, we'll carry you. I can make it. It's okay. Well, uh, okay. Don't be shy. We're good guys. Yes, you are very kind. I like you. Oh, my God. JJ, do you even believe this is happening? Apparently, we have a new family member now. Awesome. Yay. And there's our house. Yes, Afmal, don't worry. We have plenty of food. We'll feed you now. I am so hungry. I am Ampha. Yeah, yeah, we already realized that. What do you have to eat? I'm very hungry. We mostly have burgers, fries, and other fats food. There's baby food in a bottle for you, too, though. Come in, Ampha. Welcome to our home. Oh, you guys are so nice. You're very cute, too. Ampha, you can make yourself at home here. Oh, thank you, Mikey. There's a nursery just for you. Now let's go into the kitchen. That's where we keep all the food. Yeah, Mikey. Turns out you're so hospitable. I didn't know that. Of course, I'm always happy to have visitors, especially this little girl. Mikey, I think you'd be a great dad. Daddy, can I call you daddy? Oh, I don't know. Let me call you daddy. Daddy, I'm hungry. Okay, okay, let's find you something. Sit on the table while we figure out what to get you to eat. I'm Ampha, I'm hungry. Can I have some burgers too? Nah, you can't eat burgers yet. Burgers will give you a tummy ache. But I'm hungry. Burgers, pizza, vegetables, salads, whatever. Give me something to eat, please. How long has she been in the woods since she keeps talking about food? Or maybe she's just a little kid and learned the basic words. I think it's the second one. Okay, we have bottled milk in the fridge. Just what we need for a little baby. I put a nipple with a hole in it. I think it'll make it easier for her to drink something. She's just a little girl. Here, drink this. Be careful not to swallow the pacifier. Do you think she can? Oh my god, she ate the bottle with the pacifier. Never mind, though. JJ, I smell something. Oh no, Mikey, we have a problem. She pooped. Oh, she needs to change her diaper. It smells awful. <laughs> I don't even want to touch it. Oh my god, we don't have diapers at home. We have to order them by courier right away. Is she just gonna sit there with dirty pants? Yeah, JJ, she doesn't care. You run and order diapers over the phone. Okay, I'll call the delivery service right now. One, two, three. Hello, is this a delivery? Yeah, it's a delivery. Hello? We need diapers. JJ, we need a lot of diapers. Tell that to the delivery guy. Okay, lots of diapers. Okay. All right, we're waiting. They'll be here soon, don't worry. I've forgotten what it's like to walk around with pooped pants. I'm not a little kid anymore, but I think it's pretty gross gross and unpleasant. Pants full of poop. That's awful. Yeah, Mikey. It's not very pleasant, but it's warm. Haha. <laughs> That's not funny, JJ. Where's the courier already? What's taking them so long? Oh, I think the courier's here. How fast they come. Just in time. Okay, you guys stay here and I'll go get the diapers. Okay, 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 like we're going anywhere. Go get the diapers already. Yeah, yeah, you guys have a good time. I've never ordered a diaper in my life. I hope they realize it's not ordered for me. I don't poop my pants. Hello, you ordered a lot of diapers. This is the biggest pack. Oh, you're just in time. Here are your diapers. Next time. Don't poop in your pants. I didn't poop my pants. A baby did. Oh my god. Here's your money and thanks for the diapers. I'm an adult and I don't do that. Ha <laughs> ha. Pooped his pants and denies it. Thanks for ordering. Diapers will help you out. Yeah, get out of here already. Goodbye. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, yeah, bye. I hope I don't see you again. Mikey, Mikey, I have diapers. We need to change her poopy diapers for new ones right away. Yeah, yeah, we should change it. Come on, JJ, do it. No, 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 no. I ordered shipping and paid for them with my own money. Is it hard for you. Change it, please. You change the diapers. Come on, Mikey. I did my part. You. I don't want to do that. There's a lot of poop in there. Go ahead and do it. I won't do it. I ordered and paid for it. You're changing it. Please, JJ. I'm going to be sick if I have to change them. I don't care. Do it, Mikey. You got to do it. Next time, I'll change it, but this time, it'll be you. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. I'm not doing it, period. I will never touch poop in my life. It's your responsibility. Is it my responsibility? It's our shared responsibility, but you'll do it first. You're so weak. You can't even change a diaper. Change it. Am I weak? You're the one who just said you'd throw up. Come on. She called you daddy. Then you're the one she's looking to you to take care of. Oh my god, you're right though. I'm the daddy here, and I'm changing diapers. She needs it more, and if JJ's disgusted, he's a bad parent. What are you talking about? I can change them too. No, I will do it. Afmal, please lie down on your tummy. I'll change your diaper. Okay, slowly remove the dirty diaper, wipe off all the poop, and put on a new diaper. Mikey, you're doing pretty good. It's like you were born to do this. Ta-da, it's done. What a master I am. Yeah, Mikey, you're really cool. Yeah, JJ, I know that. Oh, thanks, Mikey. I feel so much better. You're welcome, Amphal. It's no trouble at all. It's so nice to walk around in clean pants again. No poo.
Nope. Whoa, it's late. It's not kid time. Afmao, it's bedtime. JJ, look at the clock. It's 10 p.m. You're right, Mikey. It got dark really fast. Very quickly. Amphal, it's time for you to go to bed. We have a children's room on the second floor. That's where you'll sleep tonight. The baby's room. Yes, your baby's room. Oh, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna have my own private room and my own bed. That's just great. Thank you. What a nice way you respond to everything. Come on, we'll show you your room. JJ usually sleeps there, but I think he'll give you a spot. I think so. He'll give me the bed. JJ, will you give her the room? I'm not a little kid anymore. I sleep in a separate adult room in my own bed. Mikey's just kidding. In fact, you should like that room. It's beautiful with lots of toys and stuff for kids. Yeah, it's great here. Sounds like fun. Where is this room? This is the room in front of you. Get inside. It's so nice of you to take care of me. Feeding me, changing my diapers, and letting me sleep here. Thank you both. Yes, we both did our best. It's so nice and cool in here. So many toys and there's a TV. Can I play here? We're glad you like it here. But it's too late now, Afmao. Tomorrow you can play here all day long. And here's your bed. You'll sleep here. It's so soft and so warm. I can't wait to lie in it. That's great. And we wanted to renovate this place and turn the room into a play area. We didn't think we'd have a child visiting. Yeah, good night, Afmao. Sweet dreams to you. Good night, JJ. Good night, Mikey. Thank you all. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Is Ampho asleep yet? Yeah, she just went to bed. It would be cool to have her stay with us longer. No, no, Mikey. Mikey, she has parents. They're probably looking for her. She's gonna stay with us for a while. Yeah, you're right, JJ. I liked her, but let's hope her parents don't find her. Okay, let's go to bed, Mikey. Good night, JJ. Sleep well. Thanks, Mikey. Have a good night's sleep, too. Whew, it's been a long day. You know, darling, the day I met you was a very lucky day. To meet such a beautiful, charming, and good woman like you is a great blessing. Oh, honey, it's a great blessing for me, too, to have such a good and loving husband. We've been married for ten years. Those years have flown by so fast. It feels like I met you yesterday. Yes, honey. I enjoy spending time with you so much that I don't notice it passing. I'm so glad to have you in my life. I hope we continue to be together for the rest of our lives. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, are we filming already? Hi, everybody. As you know, my name is JJ, and this is my brother, Mikey. Hi, everyone. It's our parents' wedding anniversary. We want to congratulate them. Yes, we're very happy for them. Ten years of marriage together is not easy. Oh, hi, kids. Happy anniversary to you. Oh, thank you. Congratulations to you too, Dad. Thanks, JJ. You two make a great married couple. We wish you to continue to be so good. Yes, you're the best. We're really lucky to have parents. Such beautiful, kind, and loving parents are very rare, you know. Ouch! Oh my god, what is that? A soccer ball in the restaurant? Who's playing in the restaurant? <laughs> That's us. We kicked him good. Hey, let's keep being naughty. Huh, let's go. What a bunch of annoying little kids. Yes, it's unpleasant. I'm so sick of little kids like that. Good thing you're not like them. Yes, we are older and smarter. Why don't we go home already? Yes, it's long over do. Plus, it's so much cozier at home. Yes, you're right as always. It's a good thing we don't have little ones in our family like those. Yeah, that's right. Good thing we're all adults here. I don't think Mikey as an adult would want to have kids. No, children are good. It's good when they grow up. I hate babies that are too small. I'm going home. Let's go, kids. You know, Mikey, you used to be so little too. I don't remember that. I was already smart and grown up from birth. You're funny, Mikey. I'm older than you and I remember when you were just as annoying. Whew, we're finally home. Yeah, it was a good day. Yeah, we had a good one. It's already cold outside. Come home already. I wanted to take another walk, but okay, let's go home. I was just remembering how cute you guys were when you were little. We were very happy when you were born. Yes, put all the love and care into you. You keep on loving and caring for us, don't you? Uh, sure, but in a different way. What do you mean different? Because you're adults. You can't be babysat anymore. And sometimes we wish we could. Dad? I give you permission to babysit me and carry me around in your arms. I want to do that too. Kids, we love you, but babysitting is different now than it used to be. All right then, I didn't really feel like it. The most important thing is that we love each other, no matter how old we are. Huh, Mikey, I imagined you as a 40-year-old man. How would our parents love you? They would continue to buy me candies. Bedtime candy is bad for you. It's time for you to go to bed. How about we play some more? Yes, I don't want to sleep. I want to play with toys. No, 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 that's out of the question. You have to sleep at night, not play. It's too early for bedtime. Is it too late? It's midnight. You should be asleep by now. So go to bed quickly. And without any toys before bedtime. All right. Well, we can sleep if that's what you want. Mikey, good night to you. Sleep tight. And may you have very good dreams. Oh, thank you. Same to you. Hey, can you say good night to me too? Yes, of course, JJ. With wishes like that, I will sleep very deeply. Good night anyway. Yeah, get a good night's sleep there. I hope you enjoyed it. Good night to you too, Mom and Dad. Yeah, good night to you. Yeah, let's get a good night's sleep. We're all very tired this day. Yeah, go to 
to your bedroom already. Oh, that was rude. Yeah, that was rude. But I don't take offense to my kids because I love them. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. You know, JJ, it's a good thing we get all the love from our parents. I wouldn't want to give it all to anyone else. Good night, JJ. Yeah, I agree with you, Mikey. Good night to you, too. Yeah, I'm getting a little sleepy, too. The next day. Eh, it's a nice day outside. It's a good day to do something outside the house, huh? Yes, we obviously need to do something. Kids, bye-bye. We're going out. Don't miss us. Although I don't know if they're awake this early at all. What are we doing today? We just went out for a walk and a break from our kids. You know, I was thinking last night about what we discussed after the restaurant. What do you think about that? I do miss when Mikey and JJ were babies. Yes, those were good moments. I agree. Oh, who's the cutie? Honey, come here. Look at that little girl. Isn't that a little miracle sitting there? Oh, you're right. That is a very cute little girl. She's very nice. I'm Ampha. It's so sad and lonely to play alone in toys. I wish I had a family of my own. What a shame I'm an orphan. Honey, did you hear that? She's an orphan. We can take her in. She's so cute. Are you sure you want to adopt her? Yes, I'm sure of it. She's absolutely wonderful. I want her to be my daughter. If you're so sure of that, then I agree. She certainly won't be lonely in our family. Especially since we already have kids. I'm sure they will be friends with each other. We need to meet her. We have to get her to like us. Just try not to be rude to her. Oh, hi there. You two are so beautiful. Are you here to adopt me? Are you my new parents? Because I'm all alone! Um, hi there. We're really thinking about being your parents. Yes, we'd like to adopt you, if that's okay with you. We really liked you! Woo! I agree to be your daughter! That's great! Then let's go to our house! Yes, you have my word you'll love it here. You're part of our family now. Wow, that's awesome. Now I'm gonna call you mom and dad? Yes, now we have a little girl. I'm so happy. Me too! Three hours later. Hello again, everyone. Mikey and I decided to play outside while my parents were out. Yes! I was thinking how nice it is that this playground belongs to just us. It's so cool. We don't have to share it with anyone. Yes, we are owners of this place. But I'm sick of sitting here for hours. I suggest we go to our room and play with our toys. Yeah, I'm bored here too. Let's go play at home and no one will bother us there. It's so nice to live like this. Let's build a castle out of cubes. That's a great idea. You build a castle and I'll build cars to park there. We'll have a castle to store our cars in. We're going to have a big parking lot. That sounds really cool. Let's go build it. What? Who is she? How cool is it to play in your own room? Who's that girl? This is our room. I live here now, too. Mikey! She threw away all of our toys. Who would let her do something like that? It's just awful! Some stranger's girl invaded our home. Yeah, we should call the police to get her kicked out of here. But I live here, too. Who gave you permission to break all of our toys? Mom and Dad are going to come and kick that bully out. But I only played a little. I don't want to live on the streets again. Did you play a little? You made a terrible mess. Yeah, you tell that to the police. You go to jail for that. What? I don't want to go to the police. Why? You won't fix the situation with your tears. JJ is right. You need to clean up here and then leave our house. What's going on here? Why is our daughter crying? Who is she anyway? This is our new daughter, Amphow. We took her from the orphanage. What? Aren't we enough for you? Yes, what about us? Don't you love us anymore? Don't be silly. But she broke all our toys. How did she even dare to do that? She's still a little girl. Be gentle with her. That's it, I'm here. Calm down, Amphow. Mom and Dad are nearby. And who will fix our toys? Go play in the yard. We will raise her and protect her. Um, are you serious? Yes, don't bother us. It's kind of unfair. You are already adults. Go play by yourself. Yes, go already. They dragged some girl into our room, gave her all our toys, and we are to blame? Yes, you are to blame. You brought her to tears. Get out. This is my room. Let's get out of here, JJ. No one loves or respects us here. Some kind of adopted girl is more important to them than their own sons. You're right, Mikey. I was offended by our parents. How could they do that? Now they will forget about us forever. Mikey! And you started crying too? God, you're a grown man. Adults don't cry. God! Our parents will play with her a little and give her back to the orphanage. Don't worry so much. Take it easy. Oh my God! Two hours later. Why didn't parents even do anything when they saw her break our computer? I don't know, JJ. Maybe this girl is more important to them than us now. I don't want to believe it, Mikey. It's too weird. We've been with them a lot longer. It just doesn't work that way. Let's go see what they were doing without us. Maybe the parents realized their mistake. Look at that. A girl sitting alone on the floor crying. What happened to her, Mikey? Ew. It smells awful, too. Look at that. She's pooped. Now I know what that smell is. We need to change her diaper. Yeah, I can't feel it. Only I'm not going to do it. Let you change it. I certainly can't do it. This is disgusting. Please, JJ, change her diaper. I'm begging you so much. Why me? Okay, I'll do it. Come on, roll over, I'll change your diaper. Thank you so much. You're very kind. How awful it looks. 
You just need to stop breathing. Change your diaper quickly and forget about it. Well done, JJ. You will do great. I believe in you. That's it. I've done it. Now you're clean and there's no bad odor. Thank you so much. You were able to help me. Only now you'll be changing my diapers all the time every time you do it. What? What did she just say? Did I just hear what she just said? You heard right, my friends. This is totally disrespectful. Come on, Mikey. We're going to punish her for this. What? What are you going to do? I agree, JJ. It's time for her to realize a little bit that she is a nobody in our family. Let's go, Mikey. How can you be so insolent? Now you'll know what it means to be rude to us. Go on your way. Our parents can't help you now. Now you'll have to live alone on the street. What are you guys doing? Maybe I'm too mean to them. I think I need to apologize and we can live together. We finally did it. Now we can live in peace without the cheeky little girl. Let's go to our room, Mikey. Let that girl learn to survive on her own. What? Is she back with us again? Guys, let's hug it out. I realize not everyone wants to clean up after me, but you'll get used to it. I believe in you. Is she doing it again? I don't think she realizes her mistakes at all. She came in again and continues to be rude to us again. What did I say wrong? Look, she really doesn't know what we're saying. Let's get her away from the house. Maybe then she'll figure out why we don't want her here. Why is that? Cheeky girl. Go far away from here and don't even think about coming back. Come on, JJ. We've got toys waiting for us. Have fun staying outdoors. I'm so tired of walking already. It's horrible. So much trouble from that little girl. The main thing is that we can go play in our room in peace. I agree with you, JJ. Let's not waste any more time. Guys, I realize my mistakes. Let's not fight anymore. Let's go hug and live together again. I will not be bullied and act like a bore anymore. She came again, but now she's apologizing to us, Mikey. I'm not exactly apologizing, of course. You heard that, JJ. People don't change. She's at it again. I was just kidding. Let's be friendly, boys. Don't get mad at me. Look at her. She's very sweet. Maybe we should forgive her. Forgive? All right, let's forgive her. Let her be part of our family. You guys are very kind. Thank you very much. I am very happy to be a part of your family. Cool, Mikey. Let's go upstairs to our room. That's a great idea. Now the three of us can play. There's enough toys for everyone. It's so wonderful when people change and realize they were wrong. Now we can all live together and never fight again. I agree with you. I'm glad it ended so well. I'm very excited too. The three of us will have fun living together. I agree with you, Mikey. The important thing is that now we understand each other and forgive each other. And then we will live together for the better. And now we have a sister. Like us, if you're happy, we could be a whole family. Write comments on what you would do if you were us. See you later. Bye. Stop.